Welcome back. Before getting more into data analytics, it is very important to understand a keyword called data because the whole concept of data analytics revolves around the term data. So what is meant by data? Data, data itself is a material or a fact that is in raw form. It can be related to a person, any object, any process that is existing in the real world. It is characterizing the real world information. It is a characteristic of a, some real time, real world object or a process. Okay, so keeping that aside, let me start explaining few important seven points that are mentioned here. The first thing is the word data is taken from data. It is a Latin word from where this term was defined or derived. So next, data is a raw fact. So what does it mean a raw fact means? For example, your age is 26. It is a raw fact. It is a fact. No. So, you know, it is a fact. So, what does it mean with raw fact? So, for example, let me take one example. I will take one example. See, this is 29. You don't know what it is. You got a value. If you add some information to it, if you process the value, then you get some information. But 29 is in raw form now. 29, you know what? what, what, you, what is the information you know about? 29. It is a numerical value. The value is 29. This is the basic information you have. Okay. So, how it will become meaningful? For example, if it, so the first question it is whether it is the age of a person, maybe. It might be a date of a month. Maybe it is a year. Maybe it is a processing time. We don't know. It is in raw form. When we add certain process, certain process to it when we process this information we get some meaningful knowledge out of the process so for example 29 is the year of Rao. so this is what we call a meaningful information so that's why we mentioned here data may or may not be a meaningful information meaningful it can be it cannot be meaningful so what does it mean by meaningful 29 is meaningful raw data but if you take this one what is that it is not a meaningful one okay we convert meaningful a non-meaningful one into meaningful by processing it okay so there's some basic information this is also data and this is also data these two are data in raw form when we process it by using some statistical tools or some analytical tools, we get some meaningful information out of it. Input to any system may be treated as data. What are the inputs we give to an information system or any information system? Maybe, for example, switching on, switching off. On, off is a data of Boolean type. Two types of data, whether you're switching on or on. The status of the switch is on or off. On is this data, off is a data. So some some basic system it is switch is a small system that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. Or like the key password ID and password that you enter into the data. When you take, for example, if your password is zigzag zuza, something like that, X Y Z W M N O P Q R, it is not a meaningful information. It is a data. But when we keep it in under password. We know that the password of the system is the XYZ. So that will become meaningful then. Understood. The data itself cannot be understood easily because it will be in raw form, right? To make it understandable, we need to process it. So understanding raw data is difficult. For example, if you take a table, I'm pausing it, I will show you a table. See this table. It contains some heading like employee and it contains 87, 115, 19, 85, some values. What do you know about this one? Do you understand this? What does it mean? No, we don't. Because it contains certain values without proper information related to it, it is not possible to understand. When a person just sees data, it is not possible to understand. When some process, some statistical analytical process is performed on the data or like some decision trees, whatever some analytical tools processed on the data that is available, it is possible to create meaning out of it. Okay, so 
it is very difficult to understand the meaning of a data that is existing in raw form most often data will not be in order so that's why i told you in the previous video that we will be cleaning the data to properly allocate it and to create some meaning out of it okay so we will be rearranging the data in a meaningful order all right so it is next process but usually when we collect some data it is not granted that the data will be in a proper order okay so these are some basic characteristics of data data is a raw fact data can be meaningful or cannot be next one is the usual information that we give as inputs to the systems are called data and it is very difficult to understand raw data and data it is not granted that data will be in a proper order the basic example is survey data so people i guess see people know about survey data survey is something we conduct to con collect consensus from the people or participants who participate in survey we ask several questions to the participants who will be responding their own opinions so by collecting certain information from number of people we create certain consensus means we get some common ideology out of their responses that is survey process so that is basic example of data survey data is basic example of data okay hope you guys understood what is meant by data in the next video i will explain you about dimensions of data and data quality thank you